All right, so what we have here today, the uh, E3 flasher downgrade. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that, uh, where's my other clip at? It's right here. Make sure that when you do, uh, if you're doing it the solderless way with the uh, clip, You can't really see it, but in on yours, when you first open it out of the box, there's going to be a little half a step here. So it's going to look like, you know, the top step, then a middle step, and then the bottom step. We want to get rid of that middle step altogether. Get rid of it. Now, this is a garbage one. This is uh, somehow actually got cut here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it. So, this is a garbage one that I will just demonstrate with on how to get that step gone the easiest way. Um, here I have a file. It's one of the uh, triangular ones, so it's got a, uh, a great angle to do it. So you're going to take your ribbon, you're going to kind of get it out of the way, and put your thumb up here. Oh, I'm going to get that closer to the camera. Put your thumb right there over the pins, right at the edge of the top. Oops, sorry guys. Right at the edge of the top, that way the file doesn't slip. Just trying to get closer here. And you're just gonna keep filing, and you're gonna keep filing and filing until that whole step is gone. So, Again, the clip plugs into the uh, head unit here. Alrighty, so now that we have that taken care of, we want to make sure that we have an SD card. I'm just, or a micro SD card, excuse me. I'm using just a little two gigabyte, um, not even sure what brand it is. I think it's a Samsung. Pretty sure it's a Samsung. Either that or a Kingston, but I'm, I'm like 90% sure it's a Samsung. Um, anyways, micro SD goes over here. Just uh, flip the little enclosure back, put the SD card in, flip it closed, slide it to the back, and uh, it'll lock it in place. So, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't mention the reason we shaved the clip there is because there are some components on the motherboard that uh, sit a little close to the NOR, the NOR chip, so. Um, only way to get it to sit flush and read every leg is to shave it down. So once we have it shaved down, we have it placed on the uh, board. Um, you may need to use something to hold it in place. I throw the console completely back together. Um, the only two screws, well three screws, the ground, and then obviously the two holding the uh, heat sinks to the CPU and GPU are the only screws that I put back in. Um, I use two pennies wrapped up in some electrical tape to uh, make sure the shrouding holds down or you know it, it holds it to the motherboard fine so anyways let's go ahead and flip it on uh, I'm using a fat PS3 here I don't have it plugged into a TV um, usually you're supposed to wait till it boots up to the XMB uh, or you know your home screen and then you're supposed to start doing it I wait the 30 seconds like you're supposed to with slims um, just because at 30 seconds you're safe to assume that it's booted so go ahead and turn it on Now let's talk about a few things here. The red, indicating that we are powered on. Obviously the rest of the lights are indicating we're powered on as well, but the blue lights here are what we're gonna watch. Uh, they're flashing back and forth right now, indicating that your E3 flasher is in fact ready to use. Now, it's ready to use, we're not quite ready on the system yet, so. Um, your dip switches, obviously you can tell once it's turned on, they are LED indicated on what's down and what's up. So by looking at the LEDs, we can obviously tell that one, two, four, five, and six are down, and three is up. So that's how we want to have it right now. So again, one, two down, three up, four, five, six down. Right there. Alrighty, so I haven't been keeping time, so we're gonna go about another 10 seconds here. Get a drink of my soda pop. I love me some Coke. 
I used to hate this crap. It used to give me serious heartburn when I was in high school. Alrighty, so anyways, it's flashing. We've got our dip switches set. PS3 is on. Top button here. Go ahead and press start. So we're going to watch for one thing here. It's going to pop up one couple seconds later. It's going to pop up two couple seconds later. Three all the way up to eight. I believe there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight. So anyways, uh, if it starts flashing like two and like five or six or one and five and six just flashing at you, you know that you have a seating problem. More than likely it's going to be, so as we can see here, the first light just popped up. They all pop up the rest of the time. We're good uh, as far as, you know, what our E3 is telling us. Um, so anyways, let me go back to uh, the flashing lights. Uh, if you get flashing lights, more than likely it's going to be a connection error, and nine times out of ten it's going to be um, at the motherboard where you've actually seated the clip. So just go back, take it apart, make sure it's sitting completely 100% flush. Make sure that is touching the motherboard. Um, if that, if you're 100% sure it's touching, <laughs> uh, pull it off, take a look at the uh, the legs and see if you're missing any, if you accidentally broke one off during filing. Um, or anything like that. Uh, I guess the other the other tenth of the issue could be you know um, maybe something's wrong with your flasher, or maybe when you attached it um, attached it to the headboard here, or well the head unit. I guess this is the head, but the main unit. Um, if it's attached there properly, then you know we can basically assume it's. Uh, gonna be something either with the flasher or with the clip and like I said nine times out of ten it's with that clip so now that we're done and these are flashing back and forth we know that it is actually pulled if you watch the lights if you watch them all and it hits every single light one through eight you know that it pulled just perfectly fine from what our e3 flasher is telling us again we still have to uh, look over the text document with our eyes and make sure that everything's good to go so what I want you guys to do, you guys, because I've actually, I've already made um, made my others. I like everybody to take three. Uh, a lot of tutorials are going to tell you to take three, but others will tell you to, tell you to take one dump. <laughs> take one dump. Sorry, guys. It's just the way I said it just got me. Um, you want to make three because you know that, you know, maybe, hey, you pulled the first one off and, and, it, and it came out good. It looked good from the eyes but there was something wrong somewhere that we couldn't see uh, if you flash that back over and it bricks it it's a bad dump and that's the only one you have you're screwed um, that's that's basically it you are screwed so always 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 take three take three dumps guys come on three dumps um, if you really can't take three dumps settle with two dumps but so we're going to go ahead, uh, I'm going to stop this video, like I said, I've already got mine. Go ahead and uh, get the other two of yours, and um, let's get ready to uh, get to the rest of it and get downgrading. Alrighty.
All right, so now that we have that all done, um, go ahead and put the SD card back in your uh, flasher. And then flip the third switch to the down position. Um, and then go ahead, flip switch six to the down position. And uh, yeah, go ahead and turn on your PS3. Wait about uh, 20 seconds here again. Give it a little bit longer here. That should be good enough. Go ahead and start. And it will take a little bit longer, obviously, than when we were uh, pulling it off there, so. See, as you can tell, it's going to take a little bit. Hell of a lot longer than uh, dumping them, that's for sure. Oh yay, two. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And uh, we'll pick back up when it's at about eh, eh, seven. Uh, about 30 seconds into seven, I'd say. Um, and then yeah, after that it'll be back to the on screen. Of more than likely a black screen. So, which is normal for those of you that have done hardware downgrades or read about them so pause in the video all right so it's at seven right now
Look at that, guys. For those of you that have finished like this with no errors, give yourself a pat on the back because uh, a lot of people have trouble with it the first couple times. So get used to it, get familiar with it, read, read, read. Um, can't stress that enough. Don't go into it, you know, don't just buy one because you've read, oh, I can downgrade a PS3 with it. Actually do some reading first and kind of figure out what you're getting into and be prepared. Um, yeah, so we'll jump over now to the TV and get into factory service mode because, again, we patched for 3.55. Um, yeah. For those of you also that, uh, I don't know, have an Instagram, check out my Instagram page. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, because my phone doesn't do the auto rotate crap. I don't know. Picture of the camera on the PS3. But uh, anyways, yeah. 